you want to make sure that you you have better understanding with this uh, verification thing, new verification. Um, first of all, don't panic, okay? Because um, compared to the previous or to the other things on Amazon, there is a communication, there is second chances, which people are not, are not fam uh, familiar with this on Amazon. Usually people think, I'm doing one mistake, I'm screwed, we're over, and, and I can understand that, that people are really, really afraid, really freaking out about Especially it. Especially the first verification, when you enter Amazon, if you go through one, if you make mistakes, it's hard to come back from that. Right, right. Yeah. So, and so also this one's you, different. So it's from uh, people's experience. This fear comes from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, very often, like, uh, m many people uh, does mistakes intentionally or not, and they very often you cannot g go back. Like uh, Amazon are... are even like, even if you you did nothing wrong but Amazon think sometimes there is no way back and uh, here with that verification uh, first of all it's not a big deal everybody can go through it and it's it's doable as far as you you're 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 legit and helping uh, the community so you so yeah I was trying to yep. I was trying to say first of all don't panic and and uh, And also when you panic, you, you take a wrong decision. So this is one thing. Don't panic. It's possible if you do a mistake, you can get, you can uh, go through it and, and fix. Amazon are giving you the possibility to fix. Amazon are, are communicating about it, which is also very, uh, very good. Uh, now, um, as part of trying to help, when you, when you go through a verification, make sure that everything for you is clear, okay? If it's clear for you, And, and you, you, may, you put things in order so you can go through that verification uh, with already um, a better chance to, to successfully pass it. Um, look at your legal entity, the legal entity information that is submitted on the account. Make sure that you submit the exact same information on that. Uh, to the letter. When you say exact, you mean? Yeah, yeah. To, to, to the letter in terms of address, name. Um, uh, something important that I don't know why Amazon are, are a little bit confusing about it, but uh, when you submit the legal entity, you have uh, they ask for the tax information, but they, they, they use different terms like license. There is a license for business, uh, like business, uh, license, right? business yeah. license, which is something different, but they just they simply want the, the tax ID. Mm. Yeah. And um, people are calling, like, what's this? Yeah, I don't have whatever. It's simply the EIN. The tax ID. Yeah, yeah tax ID. And then uh, the point of contact. Um, And, and the bank statement, okay? So they want the, the, the business information, they want the point of contact. Point of contact, you can use a passport or a driver license. Is it true that driver license are better than, uh, than passports? There's like, no. that's just no. a rumor. Do you the need to notarize documents? Uh, Translations. If, if they're, yeah, if they're not in English. Uh, an ID should be in English. Uh, I think that most of the IDs these days are in English. I know, I know that um, the, at some point uh, at Amazon you might be able to submit different languages thing, but uh, an ID usually have an English name, so it, it, sh it should be enough, and it is enough. And something very important, it's the next thing, uh, they want proof of address, okay? Yeah. The proof of address comes right after the, the point of contact. So people are submitting proof of address to the point of contact, but we need actually the, the, the proof of address for the business. So if you have a bank statement with uh, the business name and address, simple as is, and uh, that's that's a solution. And if it's not been accepted after you checked everything, just make sure that uh, you scan the ID again um, or provide a, a different a different uh, bank statement. Why? Because sometimes Amazon tend to Uh, make sure that you actually have it. So by submitting a different copy, so it means that you have it. You're not just uh, taking. But what if you're uh, you have an LLC uh, and you don't really have? Uh, I mean, you have an address of that LLC, but you have no documents to uh, to provide for for this address. Can you can you use the point of contact instead? So. Um, I'm not sure, and I don't think so, because I, I, I know for sure that the proof of address is for the business. Mm -hmm. However, any business has, has an address these days. You can ask days. for exceptions. And, and the, pro, the proof of address here, it's not a utility bill yeah. type. Mm -hmm. It's simply credit card or bank statement, mm -hmm. okay? So a bank statement, 
always have an address. Yeah. Now, if you're telling me this is an address that I use for, for um, not really like uh, I open the business over there, but I'm working o- um, aboard and uh, I don't have a physical address over there. So as I said, your your bank account have an address, okay? So just make sure that you update all the addresses according to the bank account mm-hmm. information. 